I'm going to turn it over to Joy and Rose here uh, with their guest, uh, Michael J. Murphy. Kia ora, Michael. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me on. Hello, Michael. Hello, Joy. I was wondering, Michael, if you might start with just giving a brief overview on your movie and the whole chemtrail geoengineering issue for those that may not be familiar with it. Sure. What in the World Are They Spraying is an investigative documentary uh, into the issue of geoengineering, commonly called chemtrails. So uh, we went around and spoke with scientists, politicians, people who, uh, who have been affected uh, by these programs and who were well, well aware of it. So essentially that's what the film is. We actually finished it in Washington, D.C. There have been numerous congressional hearings on this issue. But uh, I guess summarizing the chemtrail geoengineering issue, geoengineering is defined as the artificial modification of the Earth's climate. So that includes many things, including weather modification. Uh, there's a group of scientists, corporations, and uh, governments that desperately uh, want to do this and actually are doing it. We found out in our investigation that these programs have been started. Uh, they're very toxic to uh, both human health and, and ecology. Specifically, the geoengineering, which uh, many people call chemtrails, are the very long white lines that we typically see in the sky that do not dissipate, and those are aerosols. Uh, most of them are aerosols from geoengineering programs or chemicals that are actually being sprayed into the sky. Uh, they're creating artificial clouds and uh, doing many different things to it. Uh, definitely different than what is commonly uh, called a contrail. Uh, a contrail is a condensation trail, and it forms behind an airplane at certain elevations where it's very cold. It's actually ice crystals. Uh, which form from the heat of the engine, uh, those usually dissipate in about four to five seconds, so they're definitely different uh, than what we're typically seeing on a regular basis, not only here in the U.S., but around the world. I know you had many, many areas that you could have taken that film into. We had to come out with a learner's level, didn't we, for people, so they had some idea of what was actually in these trails. We know that aluminium, strontium, and barium, thanks to your good work, is the... Uh, predominantly in these trails, but there are, there are so many other, other aspects to it, aren't there? I mean, you know, there's been lead tested, manganese, magnesium, um, there's just no end of it, biologicals, blood cells, uh, iron, it's just, it's endless. Do you think there are reasons for this are, Michael? Well, I, I think there are many different reasons. I call these multi-agenda operations, and in the film, we just covered aluminum, barium, and strontium because uh, pretty much that's where most of the testing has been done. Part of the, uh, the film at a geoengineering conference where we listen to geoengineers talk about the plans and proposals for spraying 10 to 20 million tons of toxic aluminum into our skies, which is very concerning. While they deny that these programs have been started, there's mountains of evidence that that proves that they have been. And the amount of aluminum and, and like you said, barium and strontium that's being found around the world is extremely high. Uh, 